Hi. In this video, I will show you how I made uh, auger. This auger, it, it is hard to make this small auger. auger. With a uh, bigger uh, washer, you can make much more easier. So, to make this, you can see how it looks. Maybe it's not perfect, but for everything you need, it is quite good. So, this auger is made from the washers, like this. So, to make auger, uh, you need to make something like this. You can see how, how it's bent. First, you cut to the this hole and then bend it like this. You can see. So each new part you have bent will go like this. It will be welded here. You can see where the joint is. Where you will make the cut. Yeah. Here we will be developed. So, you simply continue to add more washers and the auger will be as long as you like. It can be short, it can be very long. You can see it is very nice. Uh, many videos shows uh, one uh, rod and then they bend a piece of steel all around and then use the grinder to make something like this but this, this is much more easier to make uh, you don't have to use grinder to make this all around spiral here it is already here. All you need to do when you finish, if you want, you can put, uh, push a rod in the middle and weld it. Then you can add bearings here and here on both sides and it can be turned. So to hold my uh, washers when I uh, need to cut this, I made this holder, small holder, holder. This is simply the bolt here. It acts to close and open. You see, it, it is made just for uh, washers here. And I fix it to the table here underneath. So when I want to use it, I simply push this back and make it tight. Now I will cut this piece. So now I have to bend it. First I take this piece, this side and bend it to the outside. You can see how. Now the second half I bend it to the opposite side. Now. For now on It looks like this. You can see it is 
to the side bend. I have to make like this. You can see. So to do that, I grab it from here and push it out and the other also. So now it looks straight. It can continue to the other washer I cut the previous, you see. It match very good. So it now on, only have to be welded together. And to do this, simply put auger somewhere on the place. Like this. I will now weld it, this auger. So now you can uh, work with that. So, the next thing you do, you take the washer, like this, and place it to match exactly the opposite side from that washer. Like this. And you weld it here when you cut where is the cut? Here. Simply weld it. Now, when it's welded, you simply correct and align the spiral. And when it's done, you can weld it to, uh, complete. So you can see how I made. All the spiral, uh, spiral are exactly the same. So it just only continue to the up side, to the top. And this will also be welded here, like so. So you simply continue to add these uh, ready washers. And then you got auger like this. And you can use it anywhere. It is much more easier to work uh, with the bigger augers, with the bigger washers, but this also works the same. So I can put another washer And again, a line, the spiral, and the process is continue until you reach uh, your uh, length that you need.
So when you're done with the length, you push it to the side. Have to cut it. So this is the how it looks like. And also you weld all this uh, from other side. Now, what is left to do? Simply grind this weld so it can be like this, very clean. So there you go, you can see how it looks like, this auger, it's nothing hard to build, you don't have to grind to make the shape like this, as I said when you are finished with this auger, just push a rod in the middle of this auger welded here to the side put bearings and it is ready to work so as I said the most important thing is this to make this shape. When you make the first one, just uh, copy all the rest by this. They have to align, uh, align to the this cut, the next one. So it will look like this. This is also can be made uh, with the bigger washers. It is much more easier to work. You have uh, much more space and anything else. So, you have seen how it's done. This is also another thing you can build at home. I also made this auger for my wood chip and sodas, but uh, much more uh, bigger washers. I just want to show you that it is possible to do with a smaller washer also. All depends the size you need. As I said, it can be short, it can be long, anything you like. It is easy to work and this is it, how I made a, a washer. And it is strong, it will not break and as you see, it looks cool. So, hope you like this. 
and to do my next video. Bye.